Michael Porter. Who is this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, is my work on the five competitive forces you all should think about. Thank you very much. Crap, I'm late. Where is everybody? Michael Porter. I'm sorry, I, I can't talk, sorry. I just have a few questions. I just want to talk to you for just one second. That's all I need, just a little bit of your time. Just a little bit of your time. <laughs> Mr. Porter, I'm Bruce Kogut. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, son. Bruce Kogut is my name. I put other strategies to shame. Six published books, my strategy's not one to overlook. So my friends, step closer, come hear me. Let me tell you what real theory. This is Michael Porter here, so listen up. Reading business strategies isn't my title. My work is vital. So many books and articles cite my work, it almost hurts. Without further ado, let me prove my running title with this smooth recital. My work is simple, and if you employ it, you can improve your stock symbol. I've created a five-color strategy plan that will outlive your lifespan. Let's begin. All those other guys shouldn't be allowed to advise. Too much focus on their firm position. Let me tell you the real options way to beat your competition. warn you about that company next door they want to see you poor sure you might think they mind their own business but your company going under would be better than Christmas second I hate to break it to you but new engines are coming into your field of view but my friend don't sweat it you can fight back brand loyalty and high barriers to entry you don't lack future opportunities can be your best friend invest in your capabilities setting yourself up for the next big trend physical assets human competence organizational capabilities. By investing in these, you'll create so many possibilities. Third, never forget that you are never alone. What I mean by this is that there's a, a substitute product in your own time zone. My advice to you is customer loyalty and product differentiation. So treat your customers like royalty. Next time you are in the boardroom, I want you to ask yourself, what type of decisions are we making now that in the future will help us excel? You can use my work to value your capabilities potential and even exploit risk. Just ask Yoshiro Nakamatsu why you can use the floppy disk. Investing in real options can be uncertain and reversible, but the benefit is that the option to exercise your investment is not forcible. If you do exercise that option, you bet you'll make a fortune. Taking advantage of scarce, rare, and imperfect animal resources. The Oracle suppliers you thought you were friends, but they only care about the dividends. I know that this may be hard to swallow, but your relationships are actually quite hollow. So make sure you have more than one option before your company goes out for auction. So if your company wants to make the stacks, look to the future and see what your strategy lacks. 
complacency in developing real options will hurt your profit. Please heed to my words before you're sentenced to the past CEO composite. In 50, you gotta keep a watchful eye on those pesky buyers, making sure you fulfill their greatest desires. Never, never underestimate a buyer's special power that can rain down on your profit like a meteor shower. But you can defend yourself, but it may be tricky. Ensure that your service is quickie and your products are sticky. Now that I've shared my knowledge and wisdom, and not to mention the sweet rhythm, I need you to promise me that you'll make the right decision. Mike Porter out.